The body positivity movement is all about making money and not to mention avoiding accountability. Only in 2023, someone can be 500 pounds, have no skills whatsoever and make over 100 grand a year from the fatness. Check it out. Welcome back. Damning figures today revealed that obesity costs British taxpayers almost 14 billion pounds a year. Obese patients cost the British Health Service twice as much as those of a healthy weight. But the body positivity movement preaches that fat is now fabulous. And that is craze is fat fluencers who rake in cash by boasting about, well, being fat. What I eat in a day is a fat bitch. Let's go. I don't know how many times I have to tell you bitches. I'm going to start my morning off with a Starbucks iced coffee. <laughs> Mackies, and then I had a few mouthfuls of this cake, but it wasn't as. Really? That's what people are watching? Apparently. Well, TikTokers like my next guest are putting the pound in excess pounds. The new Hot 30i is just 89.99. Do you like sweets? Well, you can get two kilos of sweets for £10. Promoting obesity. No, I'm promoting a good deal. 25 99 for 63 rolls of toilet paper. A donut maker from Tower. All of these products have two year warranty. A candy floss maker and a chocolate fountain. Okay, so I'm joined by TikTok star George Keyword, who you just saw there, and Sierra Bargains. Keyword. Bargains. Huh? <laughs> That's why I say bargains. Bargains, all right. Uh, <laughs> And his wife, Sienna, and the host of the Blair White Project, Blair. Why, OK, listen, uh, Blair, I'll come to you in a moment. First of all, all right, George, let me give us some stats. Yeah. If you don't mind me asking, how much do you weigh? Look, I'm not going to talk about numbers because the thing is, when you... When well, I think I, you should. I'd say around 400, 500 pounds. I don't see what the issue is with this guy actually talking about his weight. He just doesn't want that to be the main focus of this segment. I guarantee in his mind, coming on this programme, he probably thought that he wants to spin the narrative in a little bit of a different direction. Piers Morgan's going to try and take me down this road of body positivity being bad for you, but I'll try and turn it down this road about it all being about entertainment. But I just think it makes you look worse if you don't actually disclose your weight. It's like you're trying to hide something because you know what what you're doing is wrong. I mean, no, you no, are... no, no, the thing is, if I give you the, the number of how much I weigh, it's going to be all over the sun, all those trashy newspapers tomorrow morning. I don't need it. Don't need it. Well, you say you don't need it. You're on, no, you're no, on no, TikTok no. every no, day showing is... us how big you are. Yeah. yeah, he's saying I don't need it, like he doesn't want any negative attention drawn to him, all whilst getting tens of millions of impressions on TikTok, and then not to mention coming on the Piers Morgan channel, and this has already got 1.4 million views in the last month. And you're no. proud of it? No, 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 no. No, no, there's a difference. There's proud... And then there's just being positive in my own skin, and that's what I am. Right. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not proud to be fat. Would I'm you accept, proud to... Would you accept that by medical definition you are morbidly obese? Look, if that's what medically you want to call it, then call it. Well, no, fine. you it's know fine. your weight. I no, don't. No, 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 no. But that's yeah. You could say that. Yeah. Right. So here's my issue that. with this body positivity mm -hmm. thing. People shouldn't be celebrating being morbidly obese. In my estimation, uh, but that's the, the because actually it is a dangerous condition that causes many people to die. What these fat obesity glorifiers fail to understand is that simply just by being this big and then showing that you're making a lot of money from TikTok and you're getting a lot of fame, a lot of attention, that is in fact glorifying it. You are becoming an influencer. You have a lot of influence over people. And why is that? Because you're fat. It's entertaining. Not everyone is as self-aware as me and you guys. There's a lot of people online who are highly impressionable and they'll follow this guy's advice. And regardless of whichever way you put it, this guy's winning. He's getting loads of money. He's getting loads of attention. And he's doing it by being fat. If he wasn't fat, he wouldn't be in this same position. And he's leaning into it, which is, in fact, glorifying it. You've got a fair point. It is dangerous. It can lead to dangerous issues, which could, you know, diabetes and so on. And that is an issue. But we don't encourage gaining weight. There's a difference between the videos you just showed on the screen. Come off, what we're George, talking about you're now. You're doing no, no, this. No, these you're TikToks are all geared to you. In, no, no, no. You're, in, you're showing people encouraging eating food. I'm just saying, wow, look at the pizza. Look, it's from Costco. It's no, 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 you're not. You're not. You're, no, 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 you are, sorry, George, that's you what are, I'm doing. You are glorifying, glorifying. In scoffing. It's called taking right? a piss. Endless, that's what it is. Well, maybe, but that's I, what it is. I it's, don't it's think having a laugh and not taking yourself too why seriously. Is it, why is it funny? Because it is funny. You know it is funny. You're not a funny. Smirk yourself before. I actually you, don't you find this kind yourself. of thing funny. I think. No, it's, come on. I actually think it's quite it, sad. It, it, I think when you're younger, it can be funny. But as you get a little bit older, 
and you have kids and you realise that life is finite and we realise we all have a very limited time on this earth, it does get a little bit sad. And I've definitely taken that mindset as I've got a little bit older myself. I've never really found this type of content funny. I'm a personal trainer. I've always helped people like this. When you watch this type of content, what do you guys feel? Comment down below. I personally feel a little bit sad for the guy. And he's got kids, which we'll get into in a minute. Dad, it's comedy. Let me bring him. It's, it's, it's satire comedy. Well, maybe. You know it is. I, you know it is. I'm not... You know it is, please. I've been an actor for 13 years. George, you know George. damn right I know how this industry works. George, I'll come back please, to you in a moment. Let me just go to Blair White in Austin, in, oh, in Texas. Okay. Blair, I do have a problem with this because I think it's celebrating a dangerous health condition. And we, and if you're an influencer, why would you want to influence people to think that that is a funny, entertaining, and be something they want to do? Well, you should have an issue with it. You know, my opinion is that the fat positivity movement is a death cult. You know, I'm all about living my life on my own terms, being happy, finding a partner that makes me happy. But you know, life is short, so you have to find happiness. But what cuts it in half is being obese. Your life will literally end halfway of the length that you would live <clears throat> being obese. And so promoting it, you wouldn't be able to be anorexic on TikTok and not get comments about how you need to eat a cheeseburger, how you need to gain weight. And you can write it off as trolls, but it's the truth. You know, I've seen um, some TikToks made by him where he is addressing people telling him that he needs to lose weight as trolls and sort of making fun of it. And I just wonder, you know, is it really trolls? I mean, certainly there are mean people on the internet, but there is some truth to it. I mean, I know that he is a father and the idea that you will in all likelihood, in all certainty actually, not live past 50, 60 years old is an issue. Once again, you got the fat guy taking the mic. Hey, it's all a big joke to me. Let's not take it serious because then I've got to actually be confronted with the fact that I'm going to die early. I say on many videos, I've got family that works within the NHS and the stories that they give me about some of these people who are absolutely massive to the point where they can't even walk it's crazy they have special ambulances and special beds and special chairs and some of these wheelchairs are like that to the point where you can have three or four people sitting on the wheelchair and the only reason why they go into hospital is because they're fat you'd be surprised at how much less health problems you have just by losing weight you don't even have to eat super healthily even if you was eating fruit pastels and mahis every single day if you lost five stone or 30 kilos or 100 pounds whatever metric you want to use all of your health markers will improve your wife you've been listening to this yeah are you comfortable completely I mean, when you see the, the statistics about obesity in this country the cost to the nhs what it costs the country yeah are you comfortable about this the way I see it is, firstly, just us personally, um, we're, we have private health care, so the NHS isn't a thing for us. I do understand that it is costing the NHS a lot. I think it's a bigger problem to address, though. I think it's about educating people when they're young to make healthy food choices. I think a lot of the time when you grow up um, in poverty, uh, like George uh, and I have, um, a lot of the time you don't have um, the healthiest options. Yeah, but my response to that would be, yeah. OK, but you've managed not to end up as George has weight wise. And I don't mean to denigrate you, George. It could be saying, genetic, so couldn't it? it huh? you know, no, it no, could it's be, not. It could be enough. What it is. I don't think George, come on, lad. It's not genetics. Don't hit me with that shout. All the information that we have out there dispelling this myth that obesity is caused by genetics. And there's still people going around believing the reason why he's 500 pounds and that his missus is only about 150 is because of genetics. It's because you're eating 10 Krispy Kremes a day. It's, no, no it, I, I believe it's because my parents were like cool hippie vegetarians, whereas um, George's were not. But and, are are and... you comfortable? You've got a, a son, right? Mm -hmm. Are you comfortable about his current weight? Do, um, do you think when he, when he does this stuff on TikTok, are you really laughing or are you concerned about him? I'm, I, I'm concerned not so much about his weight, but more about um, his well-being. Are you concerned about his weight? No, I'm concerned about his well-being. Okay, so you basically mean his health in correlation to his weight anyway. And deep down, she is aware of this, but they're laughing the way to the bank. They're making a lot of money from this. Every post is a sponsored post. So she's seeing that money go into the bank and it allows her to delay the amount of time before she realizes how bad this situation is. Kind of like the Adam and Lena situation that we've been talking about in the last few videos. Go and check that out here. Money can often just mask the problem. Uh, you definitely glorify it, Sienna, and you guys post videos where you're uh, juggling his fat and you talk about how attractive it is. And for me, <laughs> when I look for 
Just use this, isn't it? We, all, we all know what gets you. I look for someone that would make me a better version of myself. Well, yeah, but George, but George, the point, the point Blair's making is a sound one. You say it's to get views. We know that. Yeah, of course. And you're making money from it. Of course. But the question is, there's no incentive for you to actually lose any weight because at that stage, well, actually, your TikTok persona well, no, I George could, dies. Is book, actually, yeah. George is um, actually on a weight loss journey and I fully support that. I think it's more like having a laugh at yourself, making the best of the You know the what made me... You know what could put me around to your side, George? If you now flipped with this big audience you've got, and rather yeah. than gorging yourself every day on pizzas and donuts for that's not why I do but people laughing at you but that's why don't you do. actually go on a fitness regime and show people Piz, how to lose weight if, if people actually knew what i was thinking and what i'm doing i'm actually going to be doing it as emic needles privately as well before you mm -hmm. start so all of these things we're, we're paying out of our own money we're not we don't cost anyone anything me how much being are you making out of the TikTok? A lot of money. Like what? A lot of money. Over 100 grand a, a, year. a year. Over 100 grand a year. So there's yeah. no incentive to lose weight, is there? Exactly. He's not going to lose weight because then all his audience will leave. We've seen this happen multiple times within the body positivity world. You have certain people who build an audience based on the whole body positivity and fat acceptance movement. And then when they realise, oh God, I'm going to put myself in an early grave they start losing weight and all of the audience either turns against them or just stop watching completely so then they earn less money so they're kind of penalized and punished for losing weight and then also making over 100 grand a year they're smashing it but that'll be short-lived because he'll be in an early grave soon you don't even want to tell me how much you weigh i don't need to are you, are you ashamed of it? Oh, I'm not I don't ashamed. really understand I don't know, you how me? you i find it pretty funny that he won't share how much he weighs but he'll happily tell you how much he makes this world is backwards. Oh, you can well, join a panel about obesity and When you put a number and you put a label on it, it's just... Okay, Blair, final weight. word to you. I just no, don't know why he would come on a panel discussing weight and body positivity, fat positivity, and not okay. actually revealing... The, I agree. Uh, Blair, I'm, I'm, guys, I'm uh, sorry, I run out of time. And once again, nothing was really accomplished here. If you really want these people to not do well, you just have to stop watching them. But he's just going to continue to rake in the money until something bad happens and his health goes on a fast decline. He's got kids and he's not even going to be there for them in 10 years' time. And that's pretty selfish what you guys think of this comment down below like this video and i'll see you all tomorrow